Hi guys, we're back again to show you another example of mechanical energy. This time we're inside my house where my family has built a marble run. So I wanted you to look at the whole thing in its entirety. Here we've got a start. And if you look, I've made a little label here. It says greatest potential energy. That's because if I release the marbles from here, this spot has the most energy built up in it, right? It's the potential. It's not quite going yet. So that's potential energy. This is the greatest potential energy. And when I let it go, it's going to race down this track. It's going to swirl around. And while it's doing all of this movement, that's called kinetic energy. And so that kinetic energy is just moving all the way down the track, down this little whirling windstorm here. And then it's going to keep coming down the track, occasionally being stopped by these stalag smites, we call them, and the plinko, plinko plunge, continuing with the kinetic energy all the way down breakneck bend and all the way to the end where they will receive no potential energy and they really won't have any kinetic energy. They'll just be stopped right at the bottom of the track. So let's see how it goes. Damn, they're off. Ah, that's so much fun. Got my cheering fans here. That was a lot of fun, but I wanted to show you something here real quick. So I'm just going to take a few of them. And I want to explain what I meant by potential energy or greatest potential energy. So if I were to start the race, say halfway down the track, and I were to let it go here, it has a lot less potential energy, and this would be the result. Uh-oh, we have a problem, right? We need more potential energy in order for this race to work. And so that's why it's very important to have the greatest potential energy way up here at the start so that it can complete the race, right? It needs a lot of energy in order to complete this race. All the way down. I labeled another thing down here, the Plinko Plunge. Notice how when it hits this, it slows it down. That's called friction. All right, well, I hope you learned a little bit more about mechanical energy. Again, we've got potential energy and kinetic energy. We saw all of that in this. Maybe you guys could make something like this at home. See you soon.